Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to an episode of Coffee with Ian. I realized this morning that I missed my cup at my house. <laughs> I'm using this. It feels like a teacup, not a coffee cup to me. Because I'm holding it like with one finger as opposed to like the whole hand like I normally would have uh, with my coffee cup. It's kind of funny. Just one of those things that you kind of get used to. You're like, ah, oh, hmm, sad panda. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I guess this will, it will be week two of work done, I suppose it is. Yeah, uh, it's been pretty good so far. Uh, starting to learn some of the ropes now. Uh, most of the things, I don't know, I don't know most of the things. I know one part of all the stuff I know. So like now I kind of just know where to find things more, uh, which is kind of nice when someone asks you questions like, well, what's this? Is this good for this? And I'm like, I don't know. So that has been kind of funny to figure out where everything is and uh, one, of the, one of the more interesting parts is like on the chainsaws, for example, if you want to change the bar size, you need to know what bar size uh, or what chain will go with what bar size on the chainsaws, for example. And I, at the start, I had no idea what was what. Uh, it's not as easy as, oh, this is a tw 20 inch bar. You know, it goes a 24 inch bar. Okay, this is a 24. This is a chain goes on a 24 inch bar. No problem. It's not quite as easy as that. It's more, there's more to it. But I found a list of where the chains and bars go together. So. Luckily, I made my life easier by finding that list. So, anyways, uh, I haven't played a lot of video games to be honest lately. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of Farm Sim, um, in County Lime, which has been a lot of fun. And uh, I picked up the DLC, the new map DLC for uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild, Med, Med, Medvataiga, I think it's called. Uh, pretty good looking map. Uh, a lot of, I think they could probably make. I don't know, maybe it's the settings I have, but I feel like it's the settled, the differences in colors aren't as noticeable as they should be. Um, that's the one thing I kind of noticed. Uh, but it might be my settings, not necessarily the DLC specifically. So I may have to tinker around with the settings to find something that I like. So, But it's pretty cool. Um, I uh, saw some of the newer animals in, in that DLC, which is kind of neat. I saw a lynx, musk ox. I think I've seen moose, but moose is nothing new. And I think, have you seen a reindeer yet? No, I think a reindeer uh, is the other one that they added. Lynx, reindeer, and musk deer, I guess the three ones they added. Yeah, that I haven't seen. I've seen lynx and musk. So I only have seen a reindeer. I guess that's the only one I haven't seen yet. Uh, what's in my eye? Probably an eyelash. Ugh, that's so annoying when that happens. So I'll look like a pirate talking now and be like, Rah. anyways, um, yeah. That's been what I've been doing. I haven't played a lot of video games, unfortunately. I did notice that a couple things came on sale. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't mind getting that, but I just don't have a lot of time at night. The only time I have in the morning is like from from like 6, 6.15 to like 7 a.m. in the morning, roughly, and that's usually when I record right now. At night I could, but I'm usually kind of tired when I get home. Once my body gets used to, uh, used to the schedule at work, it won't be so bad because then I will be more used to what I'm doing. So. The schedule is kind of like eight, eight to five, eight to six, depending on the the week sort of thing. So that's not too bad. It's just a question of kind of knowing, uh, I don't know, getting used to it in your body. So like for me, it's like an hour drive, like a forty minutes to an hour drive there, and a forty minutes to an hour back. So if you do like a nine or ten hour shift, you're looking at like, you know twelve hour days. So when you get home, you're just like, Bleh. you just want to melt into your couch and just fall asleep sometimes. But uh, that's been my experience thus far, at least. Especially when you have to drive yourself, that's where it feels. <laughs> I've so long I've been enjoyed. I've enjoyed the bus, and people are like, "Oh, do you like having a car now?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's nice." And then I'm like, "I rather I still like taking the bus more because you just if you're tired, you just you know, take a little nap on the bus as you're going to work, and then once you get to work, you just wake up and then go to work, sort of thing." So that's what I uh, <laughs> I'm kind of miss right now. When you're tired, like this morning, I didn't get a lot of sleep. I think well, I got enough sleep, but I still feel tired right now. So. Normally on a bus, you just, you know, close your eyes and just go for it and you're good to go. But now if I close my eyes while I'm driving, it's not a good combination. So, oh goodness. Uh, but that's one of the stranger things. My, uh, who is it? My mom asked me the other day. She's like, uh, so do you, do you like having a car? I'm like, yeah, it's it's nice to be able to hop into your car and go where you want to. It's expensive though, in comparison to the bus. I think right now, because I bought my car and I didn't do any financing or something like that, I just bought it outright. Um, right now, it's cheaper. No, it's still more. It's still more expensive with no monthly payments or anything like that. It's still more expensive in gas alone. 
let alone insurance, uh, than taking a bus would be. But it's nice to be able to hop in your car and go fishing somewhere. Speaking of fishing, I found out that my one piece seven foot rod actually fits in my car, no problem, which I was pretty pretty pleased about actually. I was what, like, was it a few weeks ago? And I'm like, oh, I wonder if this works. I guess it was two weeks ago. And I put the rod in the top of the car, like inside the car, had like an extra, like maybe almost a foot. And I'm like, not bad, not bad. I could live with that. So it was pretty funny. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big thing. Farm sim. I think what I'm gonna do this weekend is um, last weekend we kind of did like a a te the test test stream type thing to figure out what uh, stream what kind of uh, resolution would funk would work best uh, for my purposes uh, given my connection right now. And we finally decided well, finally figured out what connection it was. Um, so I'll probably stream a single player game on Saturday. Um, because I will, uh, it'll be possible, excuse me, as opposed to multiplayer, because I can't do multiplayer, stream, and be on Discord at the same time with my current connection. It just doesn't like it at all. It's like, uh, do not pass go, do not collect $200 essentially. So <laughs> that's what it feels like at least. Uh, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll stream County Line on Saturday morning and I'll be, uh, I'll be here Saturday so I'll be able to do that Saturday morning at 10 a.m. normal time. And then I will um, probably do multiplayer, but I won't stream that at all. So anyways, that's what I'll probably do. So yep, that's my plan for the weekend. So now I'll, I'll be able to stream. So like the way that they work is like they do a rotating shift on Saturdays right now. So that's why I have this Saturday off. <laughs> just noticed this space remains recording for only 50 hours and 41 minutes oh really that's good to know so anyways i think i'm good for now i don't think of anything else uh, interesting to report i haven't done a lot of fishing i went fishing actually the other day i did go fishing after work for like you know half an hour my dad lives right by a right by a river which is pretty sweet so i was able to like it was like a sunny day i got home like early enough so i'm like i'm gonna go fishing right now because i'm not gonna get a chance in any uh, later so i went out like grabbed the worms went out and i went out for like i don't know maybe how long was it it was, it was like maybe half an hour at most because like and then it got like really cold really fast so i went out fishing and i caught a few perch and a sun uh, blue gill and i was like sweet because that was the first time i'd fit had been fishing like and i felt like it you know, too long basically so but this weekend I have off, so I'm going to make a point of going fishing probably on Saturday afternoon sometime. So cause it's supposed to be nice. This is like one of the few nice weekends and the temperature is supposed to go after that, basically. So anyhow. All right, folks, that's it for me for today. Hope you enjoyed. My name's Ian Robs, and if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, enjoy the coffee. Not quite as good as our coffee, but still decent.